Hey, car talks with your boy Henny. I got some, uh, I got some things I want to talk about with tech, man. Like I'm a pretty positive person, you know. I try to remain positive no matter what the circumstances are. But I was just thinking, like, really, what software engineering has become. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't vote this presidential election. Okay. I wasn't really like I. I didn't want to be, you know, one is better than the other at the end of the day. Right, and we saw Trump won, and you know, under Trump administration, last time he was around, you know, like stocks went up, every, you, know, rich, you know, the rich got richer, right? Like that was the goal. But bro, like this season, he's already been in office for almost like what three months now, right? Yeah, since January, so we're pushing on that third month. I thought the situation was gonna get better in terms of like work being available again right like in terms of software companies you know these these big companies that are getting and raising money in tech i thought the situation was gonna get better and dude it's almost not getting better (laughs) it's quite sad and i just like i've been thinking like what, what is software engineering becoming really like it's becoming something completely different where it's becoming this like it's becoming this elite club and I, and you guys can feel free to disagree with me or not, but it's like, bro, there's almost like, if you're out here as a junior intern trying to learn this game, dude, it's so rough. Like you're literally like, you're, you're literally digging for gold. It's just so hard to make a living. And this really brings me back to a point I'm going to talk about. When I was down in Miami, I had a friend of mine who was a software uh, developer and he had an opportunity to work as a mentor, right? Teaching people to code. But he didn't really have like a full-time software engineer role. So long story short, this guy was homeless and he was telling me, ah, man, no, coding is the the vet, the, the vision, coding is the thing. At the time, I was in my old sales gig. I was making money off my sales gig, bro. I was not making money from software development, you know? And I told him, I said, bro, like, I tried what you're saying. You know, this isn't day one for me, right? This was last year. And he just didn't seem to get the point, bro. He was homeless. He was struggling. And I've seen this happen actually multiple times where software people, right, developers will just sacrifice a, a, a like a normal lifestyle, a normal lifestyle and be broke, be homeless, be sleeping, you know, like on couches or futons or floors to try to make a career. And this is what I've come to realize, guys. And this is, I'm not bullshitting you, bro. Like some people aren't going to tell you what I'm about to tell you because they don't have it. Your gurus, people online, bro, I'm not dumb. I'm not selling you nothing, right? Unless it's my time, I'm not selling you nothing. But I'm going to keep it real with you that they don't, they, they, they promise you, a, like they tell you about a salary. And take it from me, bro. I'm like seven years in this game, bro. So if I did shit wrong, m- m- maybe that's the case. But what I've realized in my seven years is that if you don't go to a fancy school, right? If you don't go to a fancy school, you don't got that degree, or you didn't build anything that's already has a bunch of users, bro. There's like really no luck for you out here. Like I'm not even joking. Like you could literally spend years on years, bro, never making it, never making it, bro. Like having your family depend on you, bro. There, there's no, there's no middle class in software engineering, bro. There's no middle class at all, at all. It's like you're either really broke, or you're like upper middle class, which is like 150 and up. You know, like you're there's no middle class in software engineering, dude. And then you're just like broke. You're just a broke dev. And that's really the reality of this game is like, bro, I thought Trump meant more jobs. Right. And I'm not talking about like, oh, the president ultimately has the end say. I've never been that kind of guy who, who believed that, you know, I've always been very you you determine your own fate. And I still believe in that. But, you know, I, I was under the impression that once we got our new president, companies were going to get more money, which the markets rallied right the markets went up but the jobs have went down right so there's less jobs going around and now it's almost become a joke where it's like everybody's expecting the senior developer to come in 
at whatever expense. I seen these people. I, I seen today online that like senior developers getting laid off, talking about, oh man, AI got me laid off. Like, it's scary. It's a scary profession when you waste eight, ten years of your life, seven years, five years, and you're just really like, bro, I'm, I, I'm afraid of this industry because of what it's become, and it's becoming a massive divide and like. Bro, some of us can't even really afford to live. I think about the expenses of how expensive it is to live and how much debt a lot of people have to go under to just get by with no hopes of probably making it. You know, if you're not, if you're not going if you're not going to a big school or you're not like the next best thing to make middle class is a nonprofit. And I've been thinking about this. I'm like, yo, like nonprofits are out there maybe doing a social cause and raising money, you know, like as opposed to working for these for-profit companies that are trying to generate money. They have, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. They're just trying to make money. And it just becomes really, really sad um, when you think about it. And so I've been thinking a lot about this. I'm not, and this isn't a hundred percent factual. This is just my opinion. But what is, what, it, what I'm seeing, and this is years of experience, is that you're really just in the broke game. You're just broke developer. You're just broke or you're in the upper middle class, but the middle class has gotten wiped out. There's no such thing as a developer in the middle class, bro. And so this is really, really sad because like, man, an industry that you think there would be enough work, there just isn't. There just isn't enough work for the amount of people who are in the market right now, right? And you would think that, but like the way that the money distribution is going is not. You got these companies, 10 people making a hundred million dollars each one of those people probably making over two million dollars and then they're just like they don't even want to, to divide that and i and i kind of get it like if you if you found a few million dollars why would you want to give away any of it anyways yourself right you would probably be in the same position so i'm i, I understand it but it's just yeah man it's it's really what the game has become is quite sad and like i said i'm not i don't feel like i'm at junior developer but bro if if we had to struggle man if it wasn't for ai bro i'm gonna keep this real with you guys if it wasn't for ai my development game wouldn't be nearly as good as it is today and i think a lot of people could say the same there's very few people who are really that great of engineers who can fucking code up a whole code base and know every fucking solution and edge case to everything you know my my the, the, the reason I become better is because I know how to utilize tools like AI to make my, my development even that much better, but it's because I already have a strong foundation. But man, I just couldn't even imagine, um, like I just thought about it, like, I couldn't even imagine like if we were still coding like it was a few years ago, if I still tried to pursue this career like a few years ago, um, how hard and difficult I would have a journey. Like I would be out here homeless, bro. Like, I would. I would be homeless again, bro. Like, it's not even a joke. Um, and it's just really sad. It's really sad. It really saddens me that as America, like, even though we, we portray that we're making money, it's really not the case. Like, yo, bro, you can have educated people out here and really just nobody's nobody's making money. There's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just sad. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm keeping it real with you guys, man. With the, with the state of software, it's getting cheaper and the cost of labor is getting like cheaper and out, I don't even think outsourcing is the problem you know there used to be a problem with outsourcing back in the day but even outsourcing is just becoming automated by AI and so my concerns are again there's just no more middle class you know what I'm saying middle class skills are just no longer there they're divided like middle class is getting eaten up and I really feel bad for some of the older generation who hasn't picked up these skills, bro, because like what kind of work are people on now? You know, like I look at my parents, you know, like and I'm like, damn, bro, like they're really they really just let themselves get to this like to the corners of life where like I, it's really like so much pressure on me some days because I'm like, yo, I, I'm trying to make it out here. Right. I'm trying to break through and I've been at this shit for years, bro. And it's just like I haven't broken through and it's like. There, there's no hope for them breaking through because like like the closest thing that they know is like a factory job and maybe some you know local bodega and like it's just like that that there's no economic prosperity there either and so yeah man i just i i'm thinking man it's just like yo this is a sad sad hustle bro it really is and, and, I, and i don't want to be the doom and gloom i'm not even trying to like i'm still an engineer at heart i'm still trying to solve and build and do things 
but it's just I'm, I'm just reflecting on the reality of the market like if you're in this game what it could be out there for you right and even just speaking a little bit about myself and my experience what i've seen like being homeless right that's a real thing like people don't really talk about that bro but it's like i've been there i was homeless for a year and i because i was working as an at an agency and i wasn't making enough to pay my rent and i had to decide whether it was rent or food and i just i i, I didn't pay the rent at the time so it was just like bro i was struggling but AI is, man, it's an interesting thing. Like, it's here to empower us, but it's also here, like, making it harder. It's ma- it, it adds a lot of pressure because, like, now all these tools are out here every single day. And you just feel like there's so much more to do. The, like, a lot of the work doesn't even mean anything. And there's so much automation happening. It's just like, bro, what is all of this, man? Unless you have a bunch of money being thrown at you, bro. It's like, this shit is fucked up out here, bro. It really is. <laughs> Um, it wasn't this wasn't supposed to be a doom and gloom, but this is just the reality of the markets And I wanted to talk about this because nobody will talk about this And you know, you have to keep yourself going on other areas, bro Like I said the middle class I really really feel bad like the middle class now is like uber like uber like uber like uber Instacart, you know, like delivery service like all, all the service industry is middle class now and then you have the divide through like upper class, upper, upper middle class, if you call it like, oh, a profession that you might have labored eight years at, you know, um, and, but, but for those eight years, you weren't making shit. You know what I'm saying? You weren't making shit. The guy at the service industry is at least making half of your salary, sometimes even more. Oh, it's so tough, man. Like I could, I could, I, I could be making more money being a server somewhere. It's the facts, bro. Like instead of trying to be a programmer, um, and it just sucks really does suck uh but it is what it is i did choose this path i do love it i do love the learning portion of it that's why i'm in this game but yeah man it's 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 it's, we're in a weird time and it's like i said i i want to be more i want to be more positive on this channel i don't want to bring like negativity to this channel but i did want to talk about what i feel the state of the market is from my own experience what i've seen and just, you know, be take care of yourself out there. You know, this is really like, I guess to, to wrap it up, like take care of yourself out there, bro. Because it's like, no one's coming to save you, you know? Um, and and that's, that's the reality. And, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like I like this game, bro, ain't what you think it is. It really isn't, man. These companies that you'll sometimes see, bro, they'd be like offshore agencies. They'd be like teams of two people. And then you think it's like a full-blown tech company. It's like a fucking a guy who's never even raised around, who's got maybe 500 users. It, like, yo, bro, this is the game is not what it makes it out to be, bro. You might even see a startup and it's like five people. They, they, they don't even, they're like mad selective on the sixth person. And like the sixth person they want as an engineer has to be like some fucking rock star, bro. I'm talking about already off building his own thing. <laughs> already doesn't need them, but like decided to work with them. And that's that's kind of this weird relationship going on. Like it's almost like it, like I feel like the work comes when you don't even need it. It's fucked up, right? But yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Please take care of yourselves out there. I know times are hard, um, but we're going to get through this each day, one day at a time. I came on here today to remind you that the grind is long and and just stay strong. You know what I'm saying? Stay strong and uh, take it one day at a time. And don't put all your eggs in one basket, man. This game ain't what it seems. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care what your gurus tell you. I don't care what your instructors tell you. They're they're not going to tell you the experience of the grind, what it's like out here, bro. It's really hard. I spoke to a, a senior engineer not that long ago, and he even told me how he was at. Like he's been in the game for 20 years, and took him like six, seven months to find work. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, bro, there's people out here who are just really struggling um, with much more seniority, bro. And it's just like, yo, man. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave y'all with that. See y'all on the next one. Peace.